Cold War, a period of brilliant development of modern warfare weapons. In order to avoid dependence on the U.S., Western European countries try to build their own fighters with many advanced features at the time they were born. In an effort to develop a carrier-capable attack aircraft for the Royal Navy, the Blackburn Birkenier was born. Designed and initially produced by Blackburn Aircraft at Brow, it was later officially known as the Harker Sidley Birkenier when Blackburn became part of the Harker Sidley Group. But this name is rarely used. In response to the rapid expansion of the Soviet Navy after World War II, the Birkenier was built to attack these ships by approaching at low altitudes below the ship's radar horizon. The Birkenier could attack using a nuclear bomb or conventional weapons. It was later intended to carry short-range anti-shipping missiles to improve its survivability against more modern ship-based anti-ship aircraft weapons. Buccaneer's first flight was on April 30, 1958, and officially entered service on July 17, 1962. Buccaneer retired on March 31, 1994. Its early foreign operators was South Africa. The South African Air Force started taking delivery of these planes in 1965. Despite the fact that, a year earlier, Britain had imposed an arms embargo on the country. At the request of the Royal Navy, the Birkenier was designed with a tandem two-man crew, an internal weapons bay to complement the external hard points. A tail section is split vertically to act as a large area air brake. The fuselage is tubular with a conical nose and tapered empennage. The middle wing is high mounted along the sides of the fuselage. Next to that are the circular air intakes and the extra nozzles at the rear. The empennage was capped by a T-style tail assembly atop its vertical fin. The undercarriage is a conventional configuration with one landing gear below the cockpit and the other under the main wings. The Birkenier is supplied with a refueling probe to extend its operating range. Essentially, the Birkenier is two-seat attack aircraft with a length of 63 feet 5 inch, a wingspan of 44 feet, a height of 16 feet 3 inch, an empty weight is 30,000 pounds, and gross weight is 62,000 pounds. It is powered by two Rolls Royce Spray Mark 101 turbofan engines with 11,000 pounds thrust each. It can reach a top speed of 580 knots or Mark 095, a range of 2,000 nautical miles and a service ceiling of 40,000 feet. As a dedicated tri platform, the Birkenier was designed to carry a variety of air to ground weapons, including conventional drop bombs anti-fortification missiles, anti-ship missiles, and unguided rocket pods. In addition to conventional weapons, Buccaneer can also deploy nuclear weapons. Its intended weapon was a nuclear air-to-surface missile codenamed Green Cheese, but this weapon's development was cancelled, and in its place was the unguided 2,000 pounds Red Beard, which 
had been developed for the English electric camera. Redbeard had an explosive yard in the 10 to 20 kiloton range and was mounted on a special bomb bay door. A total of 211 were produced and used by the Royal Navy, Royal Air Force, and South African Air Force. Buccaneers saw combat action in the first Gulf War of 1991 and the South African Border War. At least 12 Buccaneers were deployed to the Persian Gulf during the 1991 Gulf War. They were equipped with the laser designation equipment that allowed the use of laser guided bombs for precision strikes. The Royal Navy retired the last of its large aircraft carriers in 1978, moving their strider to the British Aerospace Sea Harrier and passing their Buccaneers to the Royal Air Force. The ending of the Cold War led to a reduction in strength in the Royal Air Force and the accelerated retirement of the remaining fleet with the last Buccaneers in Royal Air Force service being retired in 1994 in favor of the Panavia Tornado. South Africa was the only country other than the UK to operate the Buccaneer, where it was in service with the South African Air Force from 1965 to 1991. During the 1990s, it was revealed that South Africa had manufactured six air deliverable tactical nuclear weapons between 1978 and 1993. These nuclear weapons containing highly enriched uranium with an estimated explosion yield of 10 to 18 kilotons were designed for delivery by either the Birkenier or a Canberra bomber. In 1991, South Africa signed the Nuclear Non-Proliferation Treaty and all six bombs were removed. My video about the Blackburn Buccaneer answer. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos. Tạm biệt và hẹn gặp lại quý vị và các bạn trong các video tiếp theo.